Welcome back to the Midnight Scooby Show, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing the rest of Velma Season 1, which will hopefully be its only season, because this show is awful. I s still managed to watch all 10 episodes, which is a miracle. I had to skip some parts in some of these episodes because they were just, I couldn't handle watching them. I still cannot believe that this show continued and did not get the axe Zazloff and Scooby... The Scoob Holiday Haunt got the axe. I, I don't get it. At least give us both. I hate this show. I saw glimmers uh, of somewhat good material in episode 5 and 6 when they actually focused on the mystery. But the final four episodes were another batch of highly sexualized moments, terrible jokes, and just making me want to turn off the TV. I gotta talk about Velma. I cannot believe what they did to Velma in this show. Velma is the meanest character I think I have ever watched on television. She is just so cruel to the people around her. She's just kind of manipulative, mean, mean-spirited. I hate it. Episode 9 where she was basically trying to push everyone aside to get her mother to remember, I could not believe that episode. It was hard to watch. Now, I gotta tell you, Shaggy, Norville, best part of this entire show. It still doesn't feel like Shaggy, but I gotta tell you, he's the best part of this entire show. He's the only one that I think has good in him left. Daphne. I don't think this is the worst version of Daphne you could ever do. I think there's a lot of things that they did right with it. You have this person trying to maintain their popularity, and they soon discover in the show that their parents were criminals. And again, Daphne's moms are the best characters in this entire show. They should get a spit off. They actually could work, I think. Um, but I actually think this version of Daphne was okay. Nothing really wrong with it. Fred, and he's very naive, and I think, you know, he's somewhat there. But again, this group is so fractured by the end of this first season that I'm still questioning, can this mystery ink really come from this? Because this does not seem like the groovy teenagers are going to get into that van and go solve the mystery of Captain Cutler, the 10,000 volt ghost, all the people in a rubber mask that they faced over the years. This isn't them. And I think the problem with the show is it did not focus on the mystery as much. It, that's what I would want. You know, an edgy Scooby-Doo mystery. And let me tell you, when they revealed that the project was called Scoob, the brain swapping, I really, it was called Scooby. I really expected that they were going to make one of, like, a brain and a dog. And that's Scooby-Doo, everyone. I, I almost thought they would do it. They did it, though. But yeah, it's like, that's what it should have been the focus, not this edgy humor. This is not Harley Quinn. <laughs> this is Velma and Scooby-Doo. It just does not really work. I will say the mystery, for what it is, is just okay. I will say by episode 10, I think when the big reveal happens, it's a pretty solid motive for it. You know, that we learn a lot about this Project Scooby, how it connects to, you know, basically Velma's mom and even Norville's heritage. It's very interesting, and it's kind of big spoiler here. Big spoiler. It's Fred's mom, and her motive for doing this is very interesting because it's like she sees that Fred is just not fit for this company, so that's why she wants to swap his brain out with someone who has more initiative to run a company. So yeah, I will say... This show, I could see having some potential when you look at this. You know, you could really make this edgy, not even edgy, like imagine for a second, take the core thing of this mystery with Velma, put it in, let's say, live action or animation, whatever you want, and it's like a classic slasher film. You have someone going around Crystal Cove, slashing people, cutting out their brains, and we don't know why until the movie progresses, but it's a classic Scooby-Doo mystery done in an adult style. I think that could have actually worked. I really do. But we got 10 episodes filled with just pure nonsense that I did not like. That only parts of it 
drove the overall mystery. Overall. I'm done. I'm done talking about Velma. I will probably not even mention if it gets a season two. I don't even think it deserves it. And I don't think it's gonna. And besides, this does not take away from me watching Scooby-Doo because I got classic content and I bet you in the years to come we got some great new content featuring the Mystery Inc. gang. This, though, is not it. So, uh, yeah, I give this show a grand score of, honestly, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of ten. I tell you, this show is rough, but there were moments where I could see that something could work, but it just never delivered it. And, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Tell me your thoughts on Velma in the comments below. But I should mention that I'm going to be taking a little break here on this channel until March 10th. So I'll see you guys then. Bye, everyone.